Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Ansel, and today we're going to discuss Sideways number 5! So yeah, we get a little more on this, um, what well, has been called by many, this is Spider-Man, and with good reason, because this character is a young boy with superpowers that is trying to do good, uh, and he is learning very slowly how having superpowers and living with them actually works. Um, in this case, we get a little continuation of last issue's cliffhanger, when this cosmic entity, this guy, uh, uh, has been, apparently has chosen him uh, to be the savior of the world. <laughs> even, I mean, I, I mean, you could even say, uh, going by his words, that, uh, this, that our Derek has been chosen to be the savior of all reality. Um, I love how they are exploring this. Um, basically, this whole race of beings are, are something, at least in the way they describe them, it, it felt to me that they are like in-betweeners. Um, and, and I have to mention again, because I've been saying this in a lot of videos, uh, that, 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 uh, uh, about comic books that have been touching this in DC, it's like, in one way or another, and sometimes with a little more strength than in other comic books, they are trying to expand this is cosmic uh, mythology, um, because we suddenly have a lot, a lot more of cosmic entities and, and living, and living concepts and living abstractions uh, in here and there that are like making the whole DC universe more rich with life and, and power and mysticism and, and, and that stuff. And I'm really enjoying that. I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, I hope it is a thing. I mean, I hope it's not just me seeing patterns where they are not um, because so far it has been it has been good and in this race of of uh, say quote unquote in between us is really awesome so uh, this book on one side it was all of that it was Derek well finding this uh, out although the issue just presents that concept at the beginning and then forgets completely about it so I guess we won't see any related anything related to that until the next issues but it continues dealing with Derek learning to live with his powers because something happens uh, that has to do with consequences, I mean, we could call them consequences of his choices in previous issues. And I like how they are not forgetting that. I mean, I like how they are treating Derek as a, um, it really feels like a, hu a really human being from our world, just with powers, and how he will do a lot of stupid choices given uh, his situation, and how he has to deal with the consequences of those stupid choices afterwards. So it is, it is really nice, and, and it, I think this could become a, a nice road of character development for our little guy, and that is uh, that is good. Also, we have another new villain. Um, I have to compliment a lot uh, this comic book for the, the creativity of the villains, of the new characters that have been appearing uh, in, in the issues. But I have to say that the one thing I don't like is that they all feel like one-shot villains, like 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 villain of the week and stuff. So they are not being used as much as I say, or as I, or as I believe they could be. Um, so I hope that gets better. Uh, so on one on one side we have a lot of these we have Derek dealing with his powers dealing with the consequences of, of his, his decision that was very nice but on the other side uh, like like the other half of the issue wasn't really as good because it was this was like a lot of exposition and and, and self questioning uh, I mean it is nice to see that uh, from a character but I think it was too much in here especially after that introduction the beginning of the issue where as I was saying we get to know this new part of the DC universe, and then to to instead focus on all of this drama wasn't. I don't think it was the best decision they could have taken. Also, here we have a little more on Derek's mother uh, doing a little investigation on her own uh, inside her company to try to try to find out uh, what his son's uh, future possibility at the company are. This was too cliche for me. I don't think it was well done, uh, but the thing is that now his mother has found out some things, and that could complicate matters a lot, um, and at least that part I like, and the, the kind of complications that can come out of that, I think, uh, could be really good, but I, but I suppose we will have to wait for the next issues to confirm or to deny 
that assumption. Uh, so yes, this was good, but it took too much time to get to the good parts and also had some flaws, especially with this villain of the week characters. Um, also, it, 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 I, I would say that it wasted too much time on some things that were not as worthy. So I'm just gonna give it three Fuji notes out of five. Fuji notes? Fuji notes? How do you pronounce this? Three quote unquote in between us out of five because it was entertaining. But as I said, I, 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 I have listed a lot of flaws for this. But I still recommend this comic book. I still recommend this is a Spider Man. Um, I'm, I'm, I really believe that it will be really good in the upcoming issues. I, I, I really believe that it will keep being a good um, approach to a new character and, and a lot of tropes for a fresh take on, on many tropes that, I, that we see in here with young superheroes. So, hey, ha, do, do you think this comic book has a lot of potential the way as I do? Uh, if you do or don't, please comment down below and let me know what you think of it. And click the like button if you like this Boogie Notes, Boogie Notes, Boogie Notes, Boogie Notes, whatever yeah, thingy. And, and thank you guys a lot. And I do say a lot for watching, and I guess I'll see you next time.